This marks the first time in American history that a former president has been charged and convicted of a crime, right? The very yeah. first time. And he had a lot to say about this, including some of the very things he has said throughout the campaign system about mm -hmm. it being rigged, yep. about this being a disgrace. And so shall we go to the per former president's uh, remarks? Let's listen to some of what he had to say. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. But the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. Okay, there you have it. As we said, a lot of folks are reacting to this today. Right now, we want to start our team coverage with our Matthew Torres, who is live in Lafayette Square. Yeah, and Matthew, we know you've been talking to people reacting to today's verdict, and we know you were even telling people about today's uh, verdict. And how were people reacting? You know what? We're here in D.C. We've heard a lot of ecstatic reactions about Donald Trump's verdict. To them, they were asking how long the jury deliberated. And the fact that you had about 10 hours in two days gives you an understanding of where this jury was leaning towards. But we are here just outside of the White House gathering several reactions from different people. And really, we've heard a lot of shock. They say no matter which party you are voting for, Knowing that you have a former president who has now been convicted of a crime certainly is leaving them shocked. They say they just don't know what the next steps will look like, and certainly that is a question for a lot of people. Another person told me that this is an example that no one is above the law. Another person telling me that they were unsure whether or not the jury will actually come back with the guilty verdict, knowing just how much attention and how much pressure this trial has really set for everyone and what kind of uh, signs and really mark this will leave on the entire country, especially this election year. We spoke to one woman as soon as we got here. She started yelling to us, guilty, guilty, as soon as, soon as she saw our cameras. Biden's a decent man. Trump is not a decent man. What guilty, guilty, guilty. What is that? Guilty, guilty, guilty. You're ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Why? Because I think it'll help people understand that he's been lying to them all along. And for some people, this trial wasn't the most se uh, severe case compared to the other charges that he is facing. I actually just spoke to a woman from Oklahoma City as well. She said she's been paying attention to this trial since day one. It just so happened that she is in D.C. the day this jury came in. And she says to her, she's really unclear whether or not this will actually sway voters this election year. After all, it is June. She believes that people are already um, pretty firm when it comes to who they're voting for this November. But no doubt, shock is the one word that we are hearing this afternoon. Guys. Yeah, I wonder how many people actually have been following this closely yeah. in the D.C. area. We take for granted that people who live in D.C., because we are in the sort of political epicenter of everything, mm -hmm. tend to be pretty dialed in. It would be interesting to find out if you polled people, generally speaking, across the area, yeah. how many people really were dialed into sure. this mm -hmm. or were they sort of paying attention because of the verdict and when that verdict was read. We'll have to, to ask some other some other questions. Yeah, and speaking of, we know the elephant in the room here, Matthew Torres is outside of the White House. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks may be wondering what President Biden has to say about this. We do know he's not making any public appearances today, but he did read, a, read a, uh, release a statement earlier today, and part of that says today's verdict does not change the fact that the American people face a simple reality. There's still only one way to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office, and that is the ballot box. So just like we heard from Donald Trump shortly after uh, the verdict today, making this political, talking about the election, the uh, president, President Biden, doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go to our Matt Gregory, who is outside of a pub near Capitol Hill. And Matt, we understand you have interacted with folks who are reacting to the announcement of the verdict today, too. What are you hearing? 
Well, you know, we ended up, we decided basically, Leslie, we were going to come down to the mall. We were up on Capitol Hill trying to find groups of people. We came down to the mall because that's where you know, most people come to our nation's capital to see, you know, obviously the capital, to see the monuments. We want to kind of get their perspective. And so far, uh, some of the folks we've talked to, to be honest with you, uh, didn't even know until we told them that uh, the verdict had just come down. Uh, one gentleman we talked to was from Chicago, and he was sort of uh, in a place where he was thinking through his ideas as we spoke to him. And we had asked him, you know, what do you think about this verdict. He said it seems like it was about time. Another woman from a small town outside of Northern California we spoke to, I uh, was very short, laconic, if you will, and she was saying, you know, good. She was happy to see this happen. But this is our gentleman from Chicago here, uh, Sam Lobdell, talking about uh, his reaction. You can tell he's measured in his approach. Listen here. I think that remains to be seen. Um, we're in an age now where um, anything's possible. Yeah. I mean, I could see it maybe um, swinging it uh, more in favor of Democrats, yeah. possibly, especially those moderate Republicans and independents who would probably be less inclined to vote for him after this. Yeah, it looked like he was listening to a poll. Well, as we saw so many polls during this trial of, of those kind of independent, those moderate Republicans and independents sort of basing what they will do. This is in the polls uh, on the verdict. And now that we know that it's guilty on all those counts, um, it will be interesting, as Sam pointed out, to see what happens going forward. I have to say, though, of some of the people we talked to, uh, some just said they hadn't heard about it yet. And one of them, she wanted to speak to us on camera, interestingly enough. But when we asked her what she thought, because I didn't hear about it. I don't have any thoughts now. So it's kind of a mixed bag. You see some people on their phones, so I assume some people have seen it already. But if you're out here on the mall, uh, the likelihood is a little bit less. They've not been sitting in front of their uh, televisions or going through um, all their... Uh, you know, social media outlets at this point it is a beautiful day out here. So, you know, we're going to we're going to poke around here, see sort of what the tourists visiting our nation's capital think of uh, this verdict. Of course, you know, this is this is sort of like what we expect, a better cross section of America right here on the mall. But like I said, so far, a couple of I don't know, I haven't heard about it yet and a few good riddance and then another, you know, kind of thoughtful answer, as you saw from Sam there from Chicago, Illinois. But for now, on the National Mall, Matt Gregory, back to you. Yeah, it's still fresh. The verdict was read not even an hour ago. Yeah. So, of course, a lot of folks are still going to have to digest this news. Matt, thank you. So a lot of you at home might be wondering, where do we go from here? Here are three things to know right now. The judge has said former President Trump's sentencing for July 11th. The former president faces up to four years in prison. But it's not clear whether the judge would impose any time behind bars, by the way. And a court appeal is all but certain here. So despite today's guilty verdicts, uh, the former president has every legal right to continue his campaign for president. And his comments following the verdicts make clear he plans to do exactly that. Yeah, so he can run, he can vote, and he can appeal. We know those things for sure. And here's the other thing we know for sure. We'll keep following this situation for you. He, we'll get another update tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. And then be sure to join us tonight on WUSA 9 News at 11. And for updates anytime, download our WUSA 9 app on your phone. Watch us anytime on our free WUSA 9 streaming app. We'll be back.